Welcome back to CoachRob.com. In this video I want to discuss and illustrate what we mean when we say swim on top of the water. When she pushes off the wall, notice how flat she is in the water. Now the thing that we try to encourage our athletes to think about is imagine that you're reaching for the other end of the pool. Okay, And by doing so that's going to get your extension out in front and it's also going to facilitate the rotation of the shoulders which we'll talk about in a second. Every time you push off the wall, focus on being as streamlined as possible. That helps create the muscle memory necessary. Now again, notice how streamlined she is, and I want you to pay extra attention to her hands. Notice that she's entering them in line with her shoulder. That eliminates that zigzag in an open water environment. Notice how she's rotating to get her shoulder capsule out of the water with each stroke. The idea here is to decrease that frontal resistance, and you're much thinner on your side than you are laying on your belly. The next thing I want you to take a look at is the breathing. Every time she puts her face in the water, we want you to exhale through both your mouth and your nose so that you create a natural vacuum so when you rotate to breathe, you've created that cavity and vacuum in your lungs. This will also help with your buoyancy as well. The one thing that most people have a problem with is they hold their breath too long and then they try to exhale as well as inhale as soon as their mouth breaks the surface of the water. And that's going to cause you to start to run out of breath and actually start to cause you to rush your breathing. If you have any questions about this or any of our videos, please visit us at CoachRob.com.